<laughs> An explosion on Halloween night. Dozens of families evacuated. Two teenagers behind bars. Liz Gillardi is live tonight in the Plum Creek neighborhood in Castle Rock. And Liz, people still can't even get into their own homes tonight. Well, they cannot. And we heard those two back to back explosions. And even though the bomb squad blew up those two devices, there could still be additional explosives and other dangerous chemicals in the home, meaning those 30 or so homes evacuated. Those residents will not be returning home tonight. The explosion felt and heard in a Castle Rock neighborhood. That detonation was necessary to protect the public protect the residents in the area and to protect the officers on scene. Cell phone video captures the flash. Police kept everyone back, but behind the house in Plum Creek Villages, we saw these containers. Yeah, it makes me wonder what's going on. Two high school age boys could face charges. Their arrest last night brought police to the home where one of the teens lived. When officers realized what they were dealing with, they told people to evacuate. They just said that, uh, the danger may be greater than what they thought originally, and it might be wise to leave for a while just to be safe. A neighbor sent me these photos showing the golf course. He told me he saw police digging a hole used to safely blow up the devices. Police stopped short of calling it a bomb, but say the items found were in the process of being made into an explosive. The, the chemical compounds that were put together were put together in a manner that was uh, calculated to explode had the material been put together properly. Uh, I'm not at liberty to go into exactly how it was put together or by what means. And of all nights on Halloween when kids should be running around in the neighborhood. Instead, police blocked off nearly the entire street and parents tried to keep kids away. I'm sure it's a big question on everybody's minds. And the police chief here in Castle Rock says he has not seen this level of sophistication before out of a teen. No word on a motive yet. Right now, the focus is getting back inside that home and continuing the investigation. As for the residents who are displaced tonight, there is a temporary shelter set up at the fairgrounds. Reporting live in Castle Rock, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Liz, thanks. And investigators found these two devices on the same day Douglas County Schools put out an alert about rumors of a threat. Now, the district insists these two are not related. Nonetheless, they're increasing patrols at the request of law enforcement.